Welcome to Black History Mini Docs Podcast. I am your host for this episode, Reed R. McCants. This is a special History Now episode. Now, if you're familiar with us, you know we have standalone series that are derivatives of Black History Mini Docs. This episode will fall under the BHMD History Now content, which focuses on what's happening today that will make tomorrow's history. This will be the first of many conversations that I would like to have on the topic of artificial intelligence, AI for the VHMD Now version of our podcast. So, And I will also share samples and AI software information that I use to create some of our mini docs. Now, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our social media pages, especially YouTube. And of course, visit our Black History Mini Docs website. If you're listening over the airwaves, our podcast is brought to you by Buzzsprout. And we are available at Apple Podcasts, Spotify, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, and all the rest. So please listen there as well. Well, I wanted for a long time to do an episode about AI, artificial intelligence, and how it can help or hinder the future of storytelling, especially in regards to Black history. Before I became an actor and filmmaker, I was a graphic artist working for several of the large advertising agencies around the country. In advertising, we were always excited to hear about the new introductions of technology. I remember it was in the late 70s that the iMac came into the advertising agencies and changed the game on how we constructed physically our advertising for newspapers and magazines. Well, I see that same change happening all over again today. In every industry with the augmentation of artificial intelligence software. Now, many are a suspect or downright disapprove of AI's advancement. But for the storyteller who wants to create images realistically of the past that have long escaped us, AI might receive a welcoming smile. Throughout history, blacks seldom had the opportunity to tell our own stories the way we see them, too often relying on other races to finance black projects. The obvious outcome often resulted in a manipulation or a change to suit the palates of others. Fast forward to today, we are witnessing a total revamp of how we receive and send out information and entertainment. With the popular rise of YouTube and other video communities, The result is today's wide open space. People from any and all parts of the world can become an overnight sensation in an instant. But where do we stand in this phenomenon as black people? How do we carve out a space? Well, I can only speak for myself and I can tell you that as a graphic artist and a filmmaker and an actor, I understand the complexities of the issues surrounding AI. The actor in me says I'm going to be replaced by an artificial thing that can't really show emotion. And then there's the artist and filmmaker in me who says now I can finally tell stories that I couldn't afford to do so in the past. Let's start with some examples. Here is what is known to be the only available drawing of Phyllis Wheatley. For those of you who don't know, Phyllis Wheatley, born on May 8th in 1753 in West Africa, was the first published African-American woman poet and one of the first published women of any race ever in America. Now, we did a mini doc a few years back a poetic piece that we sometimes like to do before the advantages of AI. And I must admit, you can see in some ways it's rather crude. However, fast forward nearly 10 years later, and this is what we can create with AI today. From this crude, in some ways barely unrecognizable drawing, AI has crafted a image of Phyllis Wheatley that is truly remarkable.
Watch as we bring to life such legends as Josephine Baker from Just One Photograph. And here she is again. This photograph was colorized using photo software that enhanced the quality of old pictures. And here's Fats Waller playing some tunes for his fans. How about Tamara Dobson on the runway in the 1960s? Recognize this face? Here we took this photograph over to a program called Image AI Art. Along with the program AI Video Generator, used together, these programs will turn your picture into a motion masterpiece. Also, you might not have noticed, or maybe you have, but all of the video of myself has been reconstructed from this one photograph of me. Now that's remarkable. There's perhaps hundreds of AI software apps and programs to choose from. Some are better than others, and quite frankly, I'm still learning along with everyone else. The most important thing to know is that AI can't do it all. No, it can't. It does need a guiding hand, an artistic eye that can catch the mistakes and flaws, which I might add are many. But AI is here to stay, and it's not going away anytime soon. There are those who are using it for negative purposes, but why can't we use it for a positive purpose? AI allows us to tell our stories more graphically compelling if we use it responsibly. If we use it as a tool to augment the artistic and creative spirit to do good for society and mankind. Sure, Celebrity talking babies and side-by-side -side comparisons of movie stars, old and new. Well, that's fun. But what if we use AI to tell the stories that would never be told, especially from a Black perspective? I challenge Black artists, filmmakers to tell stories seldom told. As we move through the evolution of AI, there may be more uncertainty. However, what is certain is that if we, the darker people of the world, don't include ourselves in this evolution, we'll be left behind. Thank you all for watching and listening. Please subscribe and like us on YouTube. Your subscriptions enable us to keep bringing you this content, our mini docs, micro docs, maxi docs, to you on a regular basis. So please sub us up. Until next time, I'm Reed R. McCance, and I just want to lay you with a little tip. No matter whether you're asleep or awoke, don't let yourself be the butt end of a joke. Later. Podcast.